You're gonna look smoking tonight. That's it, baby. Just how I like it. Have a great day. Hey, Caleb! Where can I... Take me to Denver Avenue. I know a fun way to Let's go. Let's get going. You're speaking my language now. The fascists won't let me drive there, but I can let you off nearby if that's okay. This traffic is fucking bullshit! Yeah, 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 sure, Phil, sure. Hey, Phil, listen, you know me, and I know you. Nah, I didn't mean nothing by it. Hey, take it easy. Oh, Phil, take it easy. Hey, listen, tell Jimmy I said hello. Okay. I'm sorry. Goodbye. We got a problem. Who? You and me? Yeah. I got two options. Option one, you rip me off. Option two, Luca and his buddies ripped this bolt off. Hey, hey! I left them with the stuff to bring to you as instructed. Maybe you're in on it. Maybe I am. But if you thought that, I wouldn't be standing here right now. You ain't as dumb as you look. Huh. <laughs> Luca hangs out in Castle Gardens. Go see him, go get my stuff back so everyone can get paid. Now. Right. I need that ice back. I don't know what you're talking about, Nikki. I gave every one of those diamonds to Ray. Now, we all know that that's not true. Fuck you, you cabbage-eating prick. Who says it weren't you that made off with them? That's what I'm telling Ray. The game's up, boys. We're out of here.
I'm going to find you, Luca. That bitch put out a shot on me. Luca, come out and we'll talk about this. You gotta make a play for yourself, Jesus! You poor wretches. You should have found a better way to live. I took out Lucas' crew, and I got your diamonds. What do you mean you took them out? I just wanted you to get the ice back. I didn't say nothing to you about killing those boys. Whatever. They're dead, and I've got the stuff. You want to get your hands on it? Come meet me at the bridge in Middle Park. Thanks, Nicky. I guess you never know who's gonna stab you in the back, huh? Thanks for the advice. Yo! Yo! Pay a little more for that, but sure. We're going to, uh, all right, then let's do it. Great, thanks. here just you and me come in come in beer no thank you oh I agree let's have whiskey instead Packy swears by you absolutely swears by you yeah <sighs> you handled yourself well on the bank job it was fun fun too much fun that's always been this family's problem fun Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches working for guineas, working for niggas, any asshole with a buck. A whole lot spent in a proper manner. Oh, yeah. Wine and women as quick as possible and remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. But I got a plan. You down, friend? Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we gotta create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. 
Something will go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. Exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Inchin Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. So, Jerry, I got this bomb. All right, listen. The Ancelotti's and the Albanians are meeting in Little Italy. Tony's car is parked in an alleyway off of Feldspar Street. They put the bomb in the trunk, then follow the wise guys from their meeting back to the rest of their crew, then you blow the bomb. Make sure no one walks away. It's easy, right? So easy. I don't see why you ain't doing this yourself. Nico, I wouldn't trust myself with this task. You ain't got a gallon of whiskey in your system, and besides, you're being paid, ain't you? Call me when it's done. Did you kick some ass or what? The Albanians know they got us over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it. 